song. for me. Two hours late. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so the time. Just got off here in Fullerton. This uh, looks like people were boarding, so we are gonna take off. Alright, so here I am at uh, Aunt Sharon's house and We've kind of been figuring, I haven't been here in at least 11 years, and that is definitely going to have to change. Um, as you look around, there is some incredible, incredible plant life that's going on. I'm going to show you some of it as we go around the house here. Lots of succulents happening. One thing I did notice from home is this beautiful, let me get over here on the other side out of the sun, this beautiful Japanese maple. And we've got all kinds of stuff. I missed the big gigantic cactus. Let me stand up next to it. So keep in mind, I am, I am five foot two, and you can see this cactus is without wanting to really touch it, I'd say four to five inches taller than I am. So it's a, it's a big old cactus. Um, then as we come around the yard here, you'll see there are lots of other succulents hidden in here. Uh, she's got some basil, some thyme, some tarragon here on the end. Come around here to my favorite part. And the part that I'm most jealous of, you might recognize these as lemons. She's got one, two, and oh, get in that lemon. There you are. And three lemon trees, and they're just full of lemons so we talked about uh, like making some lemonade or uh, trying to make some lemon curd I've never made that before and uh, there's stuff all around her border here I hope I'm not making you sick stuff all around her border she has these huge roses above her pergola she said I just missed it 
uh, you'll see kind of a hole in the middle. They just finished their big blooming and uh, those big petals blew off and they were all over the yard. So she got, my aunt got up and uh, trimmed out that middle section. Um, but you can still see these big, get right up in there, these big clusters of roses going up this pergola. And then my favorite so far, well, I like the lemon. But my other favorite was this rose. And I am going to try and turn it towards you. This rose smells absolutely incredible. It reminds me of a sunset. Oh, it's amazing. So, not sure again why I haven't been out here for so long, but we're here to remedy that starting this year. And we'll see where we go from here. I'm not sure if we're going to the beach or uh, what's going to be going on. So, um, if, you, if you're wondering, I've got my buff on here so that I haven't shaved my head yet, but uh, so I don't don't burn up top. So that's why you'll see that. Okay, I'm gonna apologize for the wind right now. I didn't really think of that aspect of things, but we just pulled up uh, here to Huntington State Beach. Behind me, you can see. Uh, their old power plant is the tan, and then their new power plant is the blue. And if we turn around, you will see the ocean as far as you can see. So we finally got here. We just had lunch at uh, Wahoo's Fish Tacos, and uh, just as great as I remember it. One of the first things I have to eat when I come to California to Huntington Beach. And so we had lunch there, uh, picked up some some goodies at a local panaderia, and we're just gonna head down to the beach. First of all, yes, this is a very sweet tan line. I got on day one in Huntington Beach. Um, been a really good day. Uh, we did uh, lunch at Wahoo's and drove around a lot and uh, oh, went to the beach and uh, that's been our day we're going over to my cousin's house tonight for dinner and um yeah that's kind of it i'm realizing that doing this vlog is going to be a little bit more difficult when i'm actually at places because i'm gonna to have to stop and remember to do it whereas on the train like i had nothing else to do so um i was constantly filming so that's gonna be my big my big goal is to really try and document as much as what, of what's going on as possible. So that's that. Uh, hopefully I'll get some video or pictures from my cousin's house. And um, either I will check in yet tonight or tomorrow.